the passenger seat decided that it wanted to have herpes. This is Frank, my BMW E34 525i Touring. It's a 1992 5-speed manual non-Vanos model with 177,000 miles on the clock. I bought the car because I'd always promised myself an E30 Touring, but you're looking at over £5,000 for a good one, and the more I looked at them, the smaller and less practical they seemed. Plus, I have a dog Maisie, and just like the idea of a big, lazy wagon with comfortable leather armchairs, so an E34 it was. Amazingly for me, the arches are clean, the sills have been done, and the engine is strong. But ever since buying this E34 Touring a few months ago for £2,750, it's become way more of a project car than I ever anticipated. But I'm totally cool with it. Now, when I originally looked at the car late last year, I knew there were a few issues that needed sorting. The limited slip differential was leaking oil because a seal had been installed badly, the rocker cover gasket needed replacing because of another dodgy install, the headlining was sagging, and the exhaust had a blow. So nothing too major then, or so I thought, because four months on, and I am still adding to the list of things to get put right. But again, totally cool with it. Progress on Project E34 has been made though. I pulled all of the headlining and trim out and covered them in new material, ready to be installed at a later date. And I also got BMW Specialist BDS Performance to make a kick-ass custom exhaust for the M50 to breathe properly. Well, for that reason and because the original exhaust fell off on my way home from buying the car. While the exhaust was being made, BDS Performance owner Bruno also fixed the diff and rocker cover gasket. Since I've had the car back and following a few savage storms here in the UK, you, Storm Kira! Ah! The car flooded. And when I say flooded, I mean the entire left side of the car turned into a swimming pool. And because of that, the passenger seat decided that it wanted to have herpes. So the seats had to come out, as did much of the dash for the entire carpet to be removed, which inevitably meant that I found rust, which had to be fixed too. The carpet spent five days drying against my radiator, much to the disappointment of Maisie. But hey, they're all back in now, and I'm still totally cool with it. We done with cut? Cool, cool. Next scene. Also left on the to-do list are fix boot lid because it doesn't shut properly, fix sunroof mechanism at the rear, install all roof lining, source interior trim panel, source exterior trim panels, refresh the disgusting recirculating ball steering, fix the locks and windows after I manage to short something out, potentially get the car resprayed, and finally do a burnout, which I'll do now actually. <laughs> Also, you see these two connectors here? I tried to plug them into each other and then shorted something and then the radio stopped working. I think something else has stopped working, but I've forgotten because there's so much stuff on this car that doesn't work. Speaking of my radio not currently working, I want to talk to you guys about this week's coincidentally relevant sponsor, Cove. Jack, take it away. Yep, this awesome little Cove commuter 2 connects directly to your smartphone, tablet and computer via Bluetooth, which means if, like Alex, you've bought a car without a radio, it could come in very handy. What's more, your phone can be up to 32 feet away from your speaker, giving you the freedom to move from room to room. The Cove Commuter 2 is also water resistant, looks awesome and features crisp sound quality. Right, come on in, let's have a listen. I don't want nobody oh, yeah. stabbing me with love. No? No. All right, all right. I want it in love. What? You think you know someone and then you listen to their playlist. One more thing to mention is that this Cove speaker has up to seven hours battery life, so if you're on a long road trip or chilling in a hot tub with your best friend colleagues, then it's got you covered. Get 65% off your own Cove Commuter 2 by clicking the link in the description below. Now, back to my beautiful E34. <laughs> Let me tell you exactly why this car is worth all the hard work. For starters, it's like a bigger, more grown-up version of the E30. I feel safer. It's still got a really zingy straight six that sounds amazing with a stainless exhaust. <laughs> I 
that's so nice. And the lines are just so 90s it hurts. Remember this car was born way before YouTube, way before Greta Thunberg. I also love the rarity of this car, especially Tourings. In fact, it took six months of looking to find this one and I haven't seen even one other Touring on the road. So me keeping this car alive keeps this model's legacy alive, which I love. Anyway, let me tell you what this car is like to drive. Let me start with the steering, okay? See that? That is looser than your nan's You can't say that. Gearbox is all right, quite a long throw, but you know, standard BMW. Brakes, they've been uprated, so the car actually stops surprisingly well. Oh Christ, these roads are disgusting and almost as disgusting as the suspension. It doesn't really feel dialed into the road. It's, it's a car that you appreciate for what it is and you appreciate the fact that, all right, this is 1992 this was made, which makes it 27 and it gives me a kind of sense of pride that this car is nearly as old as me ultimately i bought this because i wanted a cool retro load lugging car that i could take my dog in that i could go take my dogging uh, and i love the noise straight six with a zingy exhaust that's wicked isn't it oh my god puddle puddle today's been interesting it's been good fun reliability wise in terms of mechanicals we're there we're spot on just all the little annoying electrical issues. But hey, it's 27 years old, what can you expect? If anyone has like a donor car or, you know, a car that you're parting out or so and you have panels that I'm missing, that you know I'm missing, then maybe just give me a friendly message on Instagram. That would be awesome. But yeah, um, I hope you guys like Frank. I like Frank. He's uh, He's been good to me so far. Open. Try and open it. Try and open it. Just hold it. Well, just try, oh. just try and open it. Pass me the key. The no, the key. window doesn't work. You need to try the key. The window doesn't work. Don't break the key. As you asked me that last time. Oh. Yep, yeah, that's useful, isn't it? That the passenger side only works. Easy. Next thing. Despite all the work that still needs to be done on my E34, I really like it. It's a left fill load lugger with loads of charm and bags of potential. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram for build updates. If you enjoyed this episode, then click here to subscribe and make sure you check out our cheap car challenge series down here. We good? We done? Let's go home.